Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the 3rd of April. It's Friday. Crazy crude day yesterday. Talk about U.S. Uh, reducing daily supplies by 10, 15 million barrels. Talk about a truce between Saudi and uh, Russia. All from Trump's mouth. Um, none of it fully accurate. It seems uh, hard to say. Traded all the way up to 27.36, then back down to 23.36. Keep in mind, four bucks in crude is 20%. Um, settled down at this 25.25 area, but. You know, it uh, looks pretty bad, I gotta say. I don't know what to make of it. So much, uh, so much misinformation. It's bullish bar, no doubt. Uh, and now there's going to be pressure to get some kind of deal somewhere. Um, so, crude looks okay. It's not massively bullish. It looks okay. The news came out at 22.50, so should see support there. Equities ramped higher with crude, but couldn't really hold the bid. 25.24, uh, the high last night. So 25.20s have held it. If you look on the four hours, you can see that. Can't really get out of our way up there. Looks to me like we're taking another visit left-hand side. Um, no real reason to get too super super happy the news is with the exception of uh, crude the news is is bad uh, you know there's infighting within the government a lot of people are dying nobody's really paying attention to full quarantine which is what we need uh, in America for this distribution curve to start and then finish so, I'm not super optimistic. Let's take a look at currencies. Euro shocked me yesterday. That was, um, did not expect this. A little bullish engulfing there. One of the last hours of the night. Um, been up to 65, down to 30, but Euro's on its knees. Dollar's been very big. Totally do not understand this. Uh, makes no sense to me. Not really sure what to do with it. Dollar Swiss, we stopped out last night. Um, no idea. We'd never thought it would get above 97.20. But here we are at 97.40. Um, so we're taking a step back, trying to figure out where to go with this now. Dollar Yen also bid. As we've been saying, it's a, it's a tug of war between GPIF and dollar bearishness. The guys at HSBC seem to think GPIF is finished. Uh, again, it's hard to really sink your teeth into this and figure out what the hell is going on. But um, dollar yen also higher after printing the figure or 93 lows, 100 points higher. Euro yen got smashed but then bounced all the way down to 116.30. Now we have kind of like these three big lows down here 30, 30, and 11. Uh, this is going to be trouble at some point. There will be a lot of CTA action below that level. And a lot of uh, hopeful longs are going to have to leave their stops down here. That's trouble in FX. So keep your eye on that level. We want to sell sterling yen, but we're going to wait for 132.50. We think sterling uh, put in a top yesterday. One of our colleagues lives in Ireland, who's an excellent sterling trader, mentioned it. Um, the price action pretty much confirmed it. Uh, we, we were trying to break out through that 76, 78 area, got smacked down, and then uh, zipped down back through the figure all the way to 123.50. Uh, 
figure now is, is somewhat resistant, not seriously resistant, but somewhat resistant. Uh, cable looks like it can head lower. There's going to be no good news out of England. Um, so short sterling looks looks pretty good. Euro sterling has been crushed, as you can see, basically straight straight line from 94 to 87. Speaking of straight lines, you could probably draw this. A um, little bit steep, but once this um, on the hourlies, it'll be less steep. You can see this is just starting to try and peek up through this. We like long euro sterling. Um, so, see what happens with that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I'm actually just buying some euro sterling here. Hold on. Um, we like long euro sterling. Short sterling looks like uh, an interesting uh, vehicle today. Kiwi kind of stuck. Got to keep your eyes on uh, 5880. Aussie Yen had a little bit of a flipper yesterday. Um, but couldn't really hold, right? 64.90 was the bingo number. Back higher. Now it looks like we have this sort of reverse head and shoulders. Um, not trading that, but interesting technical setup. Gold. You know where we stand on this. Core long gold. Um, once we got through this pivot area, it was pretty straightforward. Trade it up to 45. Uh, gold's going to go through 1700, we believe. I haven't looked at the CFTC data. I should really take a look at that today, see where we are on gold longs. It's been hard to be long gold, right? I mean, take a look at his daily. It's been pretty hard to be long that. Smashed to 1450, up to 1700, smashed down to 1575. Uh, fairly hysterical um, but you can see how this might make a right shoulder here and then everyone piles in again through 1700 we talked about tens we're just waiting trapdoor market we we can't get paid at 139.20 the volatility has been crippled um, because the feds in um, so we're not even trying to sell stretch highs because there is no stretch high I think it's interesting that the Fed comes in every day and buys 60 billion and, and it doesn't really just sits there. Imagine what happens when they uh, when they stop buying. Boons, core short, tradable, tactical core short, same deal. Finally, dollar Norway. Wobbly day yesterday, down to 20 up to 40 <laughs> you know 40 handles this is a this is a difficult bronco to ride but we're going to try and get short this between uh sort of 1075 and uh, 1085 you could probably already be short core short uh, dollar norway but again difficult horse to ride so be careful with that one News doesn't really matter today. Um, I think like yesterday, we we're going to have to wait for New York to get in for some action. Europe is tired. Europe is in a state of sadness. As as you all know, you know we're sort of at the arc of our own parabola here, so a lot of people are dying. Um, people here, whether their countries ask for full quarantine or not, are just happily full quarantining. In Switzerland, there's no quarantine, but everyone every single person in this country um, is quarantining mainly just because they know that's the right thing to do uh, that said people are dying people now that we know uh, or that we know of are dying so there's a sadness here which is normal which is human um, which is keeping uh, FX quiet so um, 
let's keep an eye on stuff uh, on the European morning and then uh, get ready for a, for a recession when the New Yorkers come in. With that, I wish you good luck trading on this Friday, and I will uh, speak to you on Monday. Ciao.